The state Supreme Court believes medical testimony at his 1993 trial was false. Al Benavides was sentenced to death for sexually assaulting and killing 21-month-old Consuelo Verdugo, who was his girlfriend's daughter. Benavides was babysitting her in Delano, a town north of Bakersfield, when she was injured. We spoke to Consuelo's older sister, who told us by phone tonight that she is shocked and still thinks Benavides is guilty. <laughs> After 25 years on death row, Vicente Benavides walked into the arms of waiting friends and family outside San Quentin. 68-year-old Benavides told reporters in Spanish that he was very happy. His attorney didn't say much more. Of course, we are elated by the fact that he is released today. He was wrongfully convicted over 25 years ago. And we are very grateful that this day finally has come. This week, Kern County District Attorney Lisa Green decided not to refile charges against Benavides after medical testimony about the toddler's injuries and whether she was sexually assaulted fell apart. But she still thinks Benavides is guilty of murder. I believe that he did kill this child in a uh, um, inflicted force trauma on this child. Human beings make mistakes. Robert Bryan is a human rights attorney who has represented more than 100 people who have faced the death penalty. He says the Kern County DA's mistakes, past and present, are why Benavidez should be free. They don't have evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that he's guilty, so therefore he is innocent, as you are and as I am sitting here. Under state law, Benavidez is now eligible for services like housing assistance and job training. Kate Larson, ABC 7 News.